In the currency quadrant today, seems appropriate to talk about the Mexican peso down 3.5% on its lows. Potential new tariffs put on, or at least threatened, by the U.S. administration really caused a rift in the U.S. dollar peso spread. The peso got hit and has now reversed all of the gains for the year. Essentially, this week has reversed all of the gains the peso had for the year. Uh, the month is down closer to 4% and it's turned negative on the year now with a proposed 5% tariff on all goods coming in from Mexico, crossing the border into the U.S. That would include things made in the U.S. by John Deere, by uh, General Motors, by GoPro, all products coming in would get this 5% tariff beginning June 10th with the option to move it to 25 if there was no progress on border security from the Mexican side. So this is not a trade dispute. This is a national security issue, according to the White House. And this tariff was put on to potentially spark Mexico to do a little bit more on their side of the border, whether that works or not. When you look at the Mexican response, President Lopez Obrador of Mexico said he would not respond to provocative measures, but he did say that he would respond with great prudence. That great prudence is a quote. And that's a little bit of a positive. It seems to be kind of a measured response. Peter Navarro called this move a brilliant move by President Trump to get Mexico's attention. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but the stock market certainly reacted like it was bad news for the overall global economic picture. And again, we're not getting a lot. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Robert Lighthouser, who's the chief economic advisor and chief negotiator, and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin was against this move. Again, with the, with the already signed USMCA between Canada, the US, and Mexico, ready to go to Congress for ratification, Seems like an odd move, seems like it might be more of a negotiating ploy. All of this in the face of economic data next week coming out for Mexico, which is Mexican consumer prices. The CPI for Mexico due out next week. There was really no talk of the Mexican Central Bank either providing more stimulus or taking stimulus off the table. This could potentially shift that if this threat became an actual actionable policy. Whether that's gonna happen or not, we don't know. Plenty of time to look at that, but June 10th is right around the corner. It's only two weeks away. So we'll see if this affects the Mexican peso anymore. Right now, peso negative on the year. Most of that damage done this week. Most of this week's damage done today.